Happy Monday, Air Body. <laughs> Thank you, Roadies. Appreciate you, man. How are you guys doing today? I was confused on how it's Sunday again. Oh, did I put Sunday? My bad. Whoops. It's all good. Made you guys look. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, man. Holy smokes, did I wake up in the most groggy state possible today, dude. Uh, Kev, I got this from Keeb Matt. Although I'm contemplating using Kev. something different today. Thank you guys for the subs. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you, thank you. Zonal, what's going on? See, it's your first time here. What's going on, dude? Uh, Will, Will, dude, how are you guys doing, man? Moose, Trank, Will, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Will Turtle, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate what's you guys. What's up, Mr. Alex? Come on, bro. You guys are too kind. Yeah, I, um, I have... I have enough energy, I think, to stream, and then I think I'm gonna go to bed. I am um, running on kind of fumes today, but today is also one of those days. I wish days... it was still Sunday. Dude, me too. <laughs> I do wish it was Sunday. Today is one of those builds that I think is visually very much my style. It isn't just like interesting. It isn't like something I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is like something that's very much my style. It's a board that um, I was kind of excited to build for a little while. The layout's cool on it. It's a 60% extended. So really interesting looking board. Uh, Shara, thank you so much for the tier one. I really appreciate it. PL, how you doing my friend? Uh, you remember this IC from 2022? Yeah, I think this IC has been out for a while. The um, person who's running it was just very enthusiastic which also gives me like hope for this build. That's a pretty neat variation of an O-ring style mount too, which is kind of kind of cool, but I don't know, how's my hair? I don't even know if I look okay today. Dude, I am so out of it. Uh, got my replacement mode keycaps and Osame little ghost today, big mail day, huge mail day. Skull King, thank you so much for the thousand bits, man. The class 50 looking cute, but the cutie 3.14, oh my cutie pie on the uh, screen is even better. Oh my God, Skull King. Come on, bro. Kenny, thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate you guys. I haven't seen your oh cute God, self in on? so long. If you were a keyboard, I would be gentle with you. Feels I don't know why I didn't man. read Skull King. It's probably because the number in it or something, but <laughs> thank you so much, Gotcha. I appreciate that too, man. Gotchnar, seriously, appreciate you, Kenny, Skull. Guys, thank you so much, bro. Yeah, Hi, I am. Um, Hope you're having a great day. I can't really show you guys because I don't feel like lifting it all up, but I have packed four of the 15 giveaways so far, technically 16 uh, giveaways. So four of them are packed up, like fully packed. Um, excited to get these things out. I didn't realize we had so many uh, winners that were outside of North America. So, yo, this is going to be interesting when I ship it all out, man. This is going to be pricey. How you guys all doing, though? Uh, do you have any insight on when Ash Cubes might get their envoys? Mm, I don't have any insight on that, unfortunately. Thoughts on Corsair acquiring drop? I don't even really shop from drop, so my, my input on that is like next to none. Um, I don't really care for any of drop's products personally. Even their, I bought that headset that they had. I that honestly, dude, like I love audio stuff. It sounds great, but it has the worst problem of my girlfriend can be sitting right next to me. No one can hear her talk. It's awesome. The mic's great for that. But for some stupid reason, the microphone, like the drop down mic thing, picks up everything in my headphones. So if I'm watching like a video while we're queuing up for a game of Apex, everyone hears the shit I'm watching. Everybody. And it's like clear as day apparently. So I always gotta like sit there and be like, all right, gotta just like sit in silence or mute myself. Yeah, I have the Sennheiser headset and it's supposed to be on a drop product. I don't know, that's like the most recent one I had. I think it's that one there exactly extra. It's been okay. Um, the last drop product I think I got prior to that was like audio wise was uh, IEM that fell apart. I don't know, I really don't shop much from them anymore. The keyboard selection on there is kind of bar none too, like just some good stuff. Like I think the most I've done is order GMK Wob on Amazon though. You mean it dropped to pieces? <laughs> I see what you did there, Kilo. Uh, I have the 800 sitting, uh, they're collecting dust for the past month. Do you not like them at all, PL? Isn't that the point of the open backs though? No, it's, okay, I, I, I don't, it's not the open back 
design causing it to pick up. Like I said, my girlfriend can be sitting right next to me and they can't hear her. Like, and she's talking louder than the headphones. It's something to do with, um, cause I even covered the mic at one point to see if it would pick up. It's something that's like the, the speaker itself is like interfering with them. I don't know if it's like a one-off problem, but I also don't want to really go through them to like get it all fixed and stuff. You know, you know what I mean? Like when you're just like over it at that point. So I don't know. Also, let me know if the music's too low for you guys. I kind of like this new Twitch chat update. Is there a new update? I haven't really been on Twitch the last few days. I have been so busy with everything. Oh, it looks the same to me. Um, anyone here having issues with their courses stream? Can't really say. I have been having problems with the LCD screens and any, any keyboard that I've got. Ah, oh, man, if it's really just a problem, like a one-off problem that I have, that's pretty sad, but oh well. I mean, it is what it is. I, I really, I like them, but I move around the house too much and the cable's not long Fancy enough. Fancy running so. into you here. Fluffy, thank you so much for the three months, man. Oh my god, big. Thank you so much for the, what is this, 18 months? Bro, and Fluffy, fucking 33, bro. That's crazy, bro. Uh, I don't know. What else has dropped really, like... So nice. Happy 18th, dear. I guess my question is, what does Corsair have to benefit from acquiring drop? Because, you know, if you were to come to me and say, Alex, what would you rather pick up? Like, if you were on, you know, if you need to pick up something, I think I would just rather just go with some of the Corsair products. Like, I, I don't know. Drop has nothing for me. I think Drop has some really cool people. Uh, Drop, excellent customer service team. XD. <laughs> More peripherals, I guess. Uh, I don't know. So, wait. I have a question, then. Doesn't Drop own Geek Hack? So then, does Corsair own Geek Hack now? It's Drop that, ha that, that, that bought Geek Hack, right? Interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Corsair owns them now too. Weird. Let's get them to add a RAM to our keyboards. Innovation. MX Master adds in, uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. Corsair getting into customs. I mean, like, I love Corsair brand stuff. We just actually put a few pieces, new pieces in my girlfriend's computer. We actually just upgraded her to DDR5 RAM, which is, uh, I have not built a computer in a long time. So when I was like meddling with those parts, I see the speeds on these DDR5 RAM and I'm just like, bro, this is crazy. Uh, it's like 6,000 megahertz or something. But I've always been a big fan of like the Corsair product line. Like I've never really been opposed to it. I kind of like it more than some of the other ones. They're a little bit pricier. I like their fans. Their maglev fans are quite nice. But um, yeah, I don't really have them built. I mean, I use Apple everything now, so. Yeah, I would say definitely their PC parts are pretty solid. How fast is the Apple RAM? I'm not too sure, actually. I, all I know is like my Apple computer is solid, so. Oh my God, Lero, 12 months of being here, dude. Uh, it's been a while trying to enjoy the summer, but the weather in Calgary has been so bad. It, it's miserable here. There is. No sunny days this week. I'm supposed to take my first little extended period of time off at the end of this week, and it's gonna be cloudy. We, we just don't, I don't know, man, there's been no sun. Like there's been like, I think the day, me and PL hung out, like uh, I would say like, what, a week ago? That was probably the only day I saw some sun outside while I was outside. That was it. Everything else has been awful. Like it's been terrible weather. Or if, if there is sun, it like peaks out for like five seconds and then goes away. For the past year, I've camped in the rain for five times. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I don't know. I just kind of remember growing up and there used to be like a little bit more sun, you know? Uh, Atra, what's going on, dude? One of my favorite stabs. Um, these guys right here. If you can get yourself cherry stabilizers. These are the best stabilizers you can get your, your hands on. Best, not even best bang career buck, because I feel like that entails some sort of budget or cheapness issue. These are just legitimately the best stabilizers. Like, I, I hate using the word best bang for buck, because I feel like, again, there is some hidden connotation of like cheapness, but no, they're they're great. Thoughts on Tate Mod? Uh, if people like it, people like it. To each their own. Someone in, in Discord today, I gotta read what they wrote, bro. This This like hit me hard today, man. It was such a beautiful, oh man, I need to see if I can, I think it was just from, hold on, I need to see if I can quickly find it, guys. Give me one sec. 
Uh, it was like this morning about... Hold on. I gotta really screw up. Discord's been active lately. You guys have been wild with typing. Um, does O-Ring interfere with screw-in stops? Yes. You, most of the time it does. So, someone today... What time was it? So nice. I think it was Hi, I Alex. Up. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a great day today. Thank you very much, man. It's just been... I've been so tired. Like, everything's been very... Uh, I don't know. I feel like very, like, slow. Sluggish today. Okay, I don't remember where this was. Let me just type in... Fingerprint. All right. So, someone wrote today in chat. I, I thought this was so awesome and confused. Thank you so much for the Prime Man. How's your day been? Someone wrote, I'd like to think that each person's implementation of their keyboard, kind of like the, I guess they were talking about a QK75, is like a fingerprint. It shows a lot about the person. Even if I've been um, to someone else's and saw someone else's QK75, yours is ultimately yours. And that's generally really neat. I never really thought about it like that. Like, obviously, like you think it's personalized and whatnot. But I think that person, who was this? Because it's all like streamer mode here. I can't even see who this was. Uh, that person was like dead on, bro. That was That's like the truth. And it, it really just makes you, solidifies the idea that, oh, uh, that was the pick? It really just solidifies the idea that, uh, you know, you're in this hobby to, oh, with the Oreo one. That's cute. I like that. It really solidifies the idea that you're in this hobby to like make your own thing and like design your own thing. And even if someone else doesn't necessarily, um, I guess, have the thing that you have, or I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but it, everyone's unique, everyone's different. And I think that's awesome. I'm glad you're okay with aging. Do I look old? Is it my bags under my eyes today? I'm, I know they're a little bit worse today. <laughs> I don't know. Also, we, we didn't have hot water for like, I don't know, 48 hours. I swear to God, it was crazy. You look perfect. Thanks, bro. Uh, you don't you don't need big money, uh, big exclusivity to be unique. Yeah, I mean, I saw someone on the bus the other day with uh, Jenko jeans. They look so cool. That person, I think it was like a, I don't know, young, maybe a young adult or something like that. But they were so, they were so hip, bro. It, it looks so cool. They're coming back. Dude, they really are, and they look good on some people. I don't think I could ever rock them. I don't think I got that physique for it, you know? I got, like, the uh, standard standard body build going on. But I don't think I could ever rock that. But it looks so cool on people who can. Uh, not a fan of people shit on others in any hobby because of their personal preferences. But you still, like, the sad thing is, I can sit here and tell you guys every single day, like, how much I hate when that shit happens. And, like, I could sit here and tell you guys... Bro, someone could be like, I don't know, like really, what I like to do is I like to think of not worst case scenario, but like, think of like, think about it like this. Let's just say I'm really into collecting, I don't know, switches. And I only make, let's just say I only make like, again, I'm making up numbers, nine, ten dollars an hour, okay? And I, I can only find a job, I'm trying my best, doing what I can, I can only find a job maybe for ten hours a week but I really want to participate in this thing. I'm still managing to pay all my bills, but I somehow scraped together 50 bucks and I buy like a switch, maybe some, some nobody likes, but it was something I wanted to buy. I don't know that person's story. So why would I judge them? Like, like it's it just, when you really put yourself in, have empathy and put pe in yourself in people's shoes about like maybe even the struggle that they've gone to like get what they have. And just when they're showing that they're happy about it, obviously if they're being pricks or whatever like you know try to turn the other other way but like if you really just think about it even in keyboards some people can only afford uh maybe a cheaper keyboard and for us to kind of be like oh well this is stupid i don't like this i think that's that's wrong right it, it's so wrong and i can sit here and do, say this all i want and i've, I've had full blown like full-on conversations about this and there i've seen people still they listen to me, they'll sit here and agree with me, and then I've seen those exact same people in Discord shitting on people. And it's, it's just like, why? And I think there's ultimately some sort of like, you're having a bad day projection bullshit going on, but I don't know, man. I think it's just for me easier to be happy for everyone that's building keyboards and like, you know, having a good time with things rather than 
sit on some sort of tower because it's cool. Like, I'm gonna just say this, guys. Like, being edgy is not cool. Being being edgy is lame, bro. Like, you want to sit here and like you want to have like the edgiest jokes and you want to like have that be on that borderline of like, yeah, like what I'm saying is slightly controversial. Like, look at me. Like, I got an opinion. It's like, dude, just shut up. Like, you sound like an asshole. So you are an asshole. Way to call out Tim. For real, bro. Ah, I need this today. I actually made myself a G Fuel today after like avoiding this thing for like three months. Oh man. I put a candle on my desk today because I just, I don't know, man. I need some like aromatherapy today. What is brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> Zonus, man. <laughs> Why'd you have to hit me with that, bro? That was, uh... I think the TTS, the delivery on that joke, too, was perfect. <laughs> just immediately. no, Not even a pause. Just a stick. Uh, I used to try and be an edgy, funny guy. And this year, I was like, I've woken up. And I've really put some effort into changing myself. And I've noticed my mood. Yeah, dude. There are times, like, dude, I am I am in that boat as well, bro. Let me tell you guys something. Um, there are times, even to this day, where I, sometimes I'll let a, a, an edgy joke go and I'll be like, ah, that's funny. My friends will appreciate that. And then maybe one guy laughs because he, like, is in that humor. And then everyone else is kind of, like, quiet. And, like, nobody gives a shit about the joke I was saying. Like, it's a stupid joke. And then I realize, I'm like, dude, I just sound like an asshole. So I try not to do the edgy jokes as much. Sometimes it's like, I think if you're in the right situation with the right people, yeah, sure, whatever. But like most of the times you're with strangers or people you're just getting to know, it's not worth it. It's, it's just stupid. All right. We're using clack bits today. These were given to me by Mr. Oak. And I went in and re-lubed them, even though I thought these were perfectly usable non-lubed. There was a slight, slight spring crunch. So we're using these today. Some clack bits. Look how pretty these switches are. I was a little bit um, cautious about me using these switches today because I was like, man, I don't know the color of the board we're building, but I think this is gonna work beautifully. Um, spring crunch just sounds like a crunch. Like it, it's a, imagine like a thin piece of metal, just like not bending per se, but just like, um, what's a good way to say this guys? Uh, a thin piece of metal crinkling, maybe is a good way to say it. I don't know. Maybe that's a good way to put it. Beautiful plastic candy. Hell yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the cream soda stock? Same idea as clack bits. I, I think that, um, they're, they're okay stock. I owe it. Even, I mean, dude, even the obscuras. There is only a handful of switches that I would be like, bro, the, I am confident that these are amazing stock. Just about everything else can benefit from you touching it up. All right, so let's take a look at this board. We'll take a look at the PCBs here in a second, but let's focus in on this board. I know in the box says Singa. It is not Singa though. This is just what it was sent in. This is a prototype unit. So if there's stuff uh, that will need to be changed today, we will change it. Uh, they also sent a pre-assembled PCB, which we'll take a look at. Maybe we'll install this today, I'm not sure. They installed it with Nixies. And this, unlike yesterday's build, can be built plateless if you want, which is probably why they sent me a plateless uh, iteration of it. So it is an O-ring mount board, and it uses standoffs to, uh, I believe, house the O-ring. So it's, it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. Why is lube banned? I don't actually know, man. You know what? Soren, and I think it was more Soren, banned a lot of weird words. Let me quickly go in and take a look. Um, I don't know, like he, sometimes he goes on like a little bit of a, uh, the joke's too far. Let me actually take a look. You guys down for just like chilling for four minutes while I checked? He banned like thock, clack, lube, stuff like that, I don't know. Uh, give me one sec, guys. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Mad with power? Sometimes he does go mad with power. Uh, settings, moderation, block terms and phrases. 
Yeah, like why is the word flex cuts banned? Hold on, there's a, a lot of words I'm unbanning right now. Okay. <clears throat> Mod me and I'll fix it for you, Alex. If we, if my channel ever gets bigger, I probably will end up getting an extra mod or two. Flex cuts have been banned for a while. It's okay, they're all unbanned now. So here's our plate. Pretty standard, nice looking plate, guys. Can't complain. We have a carbon fiber one. I've always, I don't know, man. Carbon fiber always makes me smile. It's such a nice looking material. And polycarbonate. I don't know what I'm gonna to use today. I do wanna use a plate though. So we have our O-rings. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I know which one's which. I uh, unfortunately don't know which one's which. And I didn't think to ask because I only thought there was gonna be one O-ring in this. It's not Singa, it's just what's in the case. Ignore the Singa thing. Um, but I don't know which one's which here. So we're gonna put those aside and we'll figure it out later. All right. Now I wanna show you guys this board because genuinely this board's pretty. This board's actually really pretty, dude. Uh, it was a joke, but the reason why you think you need a bigger channel to have more mods, unless you pay mods, I don't see a downside to having a few more. I just, you, you know what's weird about about it, Nev? I just don't think we do enough to, like even the mods we have now, I think we have so many. And because I'm not playing video games, typically I'm just in front of the thing anyways, and I can just watch the chat. All right, this is the Quantum 60. It's a 60% extended. And low key, it's pretty nice, dude. So, really cool, but you can see that the bottom has like this mid plate. Uh, I don't even know what to call this, really, this mid accent piece, which appears to be polycarbonate. Really cool. I don't actually know prices for this. I don't even think this has vendors yet. Let me double, double check. I don't think there's anything. This is like a super early proto, guys. But such a, like, such a pretty looking board. Here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Okay, I'm sorry, it's gonna be shaking a bit. Look at that. Look at that side profile. Again, there might be some nicks and scratches on this as a prototype. Very cool. And it doesn't use a traditional O-ring style. Like you guys will see when we build it. I have a feeling this is probably gonna be around 500 Oh, to sheesh. Good afternoon. Hey, Ravius, how you doing, man? Look at that though, isn't this pretty? This is a really good looking board. My camera's not liking this at all. Ah, oh, man, this is such a pretty board. Yeah, I mean like it's, it's de genuinely super nice. And you can do a few different mounting styles, I believe. I think it's either a top mount. Actually, I'm not even too sure if it's a top mount and O-ring, but I think you can do two different mounting styles technically. Let's uh, zoom back out here. Stop shaking camera. The bottom simulates the Vega a little bit. I don't think it's taken too many design cues from anything. It's kind of, I mean, dude, that the the little piece of acrylic or again polycarbonate, I'm not too sure what it is, makes this board pretty unique from its side profile. So a bunch of numbers, there you are, perfect. A bunch of numbers. Do you actually um, do you, I hate to ask so early on because I don't know the the, the steps of your protos yet. Do you happen to know, uh, maybe a rough estimate, <clears throat> rough estimate of what this is probably going to be costing? I like the clear feet. Yeah, I, you know what? At the end of the day, these are always easy to use the regular bump-ons. I appreciate them. I used to hate them, but now I appreciate them. Beautiful color though, man. Look at this thing. Look at the color on this. Oh, dude, I really like this. Around 500, I figured as much. A lot of work went into this, you can really tell. Man, I don't know if I wanna use hot swap or solder today. Round feet are the best because easy to replace. Yes. And it's something at the beginning I didn't really put too much thought into because I was like, oh yeah, they're dumb. Like, 
solder it up. Should I solder? Or should I hot swap? Camera zoomed into Alex's face. <laughs> Did I mis mistime the, the pans and zooms? All right, let's do a solderable plate then. Always solder? Yeah, I know, solder is nice. I really like this color, man. This color is beautiful. Bunch of numbers, uh, I gotta tell you, dude, I really, really vibe with the, the aesthetics of this board. Really vibe. I hope the sound, like I'm com I'm confident you, you did your due diligence in making sure the sound's awesome, but really vibing with the color and the aesthetic of this board. Let's take a look at this. Actually, let me get some scissors so I don't sit here and rip this up and pretend I know what I'm doing. Can you see my back crack? I tried to take a nap today and I just couldn't do it. I ended up, uh, I did a whole bunch of novel keys things in the morning. Was struggling to wake up today. Plate IMO needs some work, specifically the space bar. Plateless is pretty nice. I'll have to definitely try out uh, your plateless variation with the mixies. We'll see, we'll see what we can uh, accomplish today with everything. Here's our PCB. Pretty standard looking PCB, nothing too crazy. It does have a, uh, it does look like it has support for, I don't know if there's gonna be a wooden key version of this, but we we have to use 7U today because there's blockers. But it does look like there's support for some other stuff here, which is cool. Hi honey, TH, how you doing? Are you wearing the new streamers merch? I mean, okay, so basically I, yeah, I, I am. Like I saw, I saw he had some merch. So I figured might as well support him. Right? It makes sense. So, yeah. I think there's still some merch available. The new streamer already has merch. He's capitalizing early. <laughs> He's capitalizing early, dude. Good to lift up small creators. <laughs> dude, to anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about and knows who Teha is and just like, bro, what is Alex doing? He sounds like a dick. It's a, it's a joke that Teha made, okay? Teha calls himself a new streamer. I still don't know why, but I really like Teha's logo. Me too, I actually really, really like it. I wear this shirt out a lot actually because the it's not even because I like Teha's logo or anything. It's just the material this and the color of this is like one of my favorites. Uh, good guy, Alex giving uh, Teha some exposure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, let's lube up some stabs and clip some of these things here because we'll take a little take a little break to chat and do this. But yeah, very excited for the quantum today. Also, this layout, very cool. You got to admit though, guys, extended layouts are pretty nice. I, I, I've always been a big fan of them. There's not a whole lot of extended layouts that truly I feel like have a lot going for them. So it's always cool to see like an extended layout like done with a cool mounting style and stuff like that. Very, very awesome. All right, so. Let's just get four here. Hello, King. King, how are you, my friend? How's life? How's everything been? How's everyone been, though? Is everyone taking care of their mental health as well? Not only there, I know we've talked a little about physical health, the last uh, little bit in our streams here because I've been kind of going down that journey. It's been, I think it's been about a week since I've been at the gym and a little disappointed in myself, but I've been doing a lot more walking. So like all my steps are drastically up, which is great. Uh, what's a couple of good 40s you could recommend? I don't really know a whole lot of 40% keyboards. The only 40 that I actually like and have is, um, the Alex 40, the A-L-I-X 40. It's the only one I really have in like, maybe the Teemo if you can find yourself a Teemo. Are the switches under the plate on the left? Oh, yeah, 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 I just put the plate on top. This is, it could be plateless as well. Okay, let's actually clip some of these. Gonna quit my job to take care of my mental health. Hey, if, you have, if you're okay to do so, I've been down that road, my friend. I've been down that road. Do you bench 100 in the gym? Absolutely not. 
I um I don't really know how much I I've never tried that, but I've definitely seen myself get stronger though. Like I I used to not be able to do things for like more than two or three reps, and then now I can kinda like easily do things, but I'm talking like very small incremental changes. I'm retiring at 23 to help my mental health. I, I honestly wish I could do the same. There are certain days, like I love doing this, but there are certain days like I am just so swamped with things. And I feel like as I get Alex, a little older, how oh have my you God, been Osman, dude. dude. Definitely need you to visit the Bay Area and have a meet up. Yes, I, I need to. I need to do some traveling for keyboard stuff soon. I'm gonna actually be in the Novel Keys meetup. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's really rewarding doing, doing this and like being able to create a community and uh, fulfill like my creative side. But I, I feel like I can't get over this weird kind of feeling that sometimes I feel like my mental's a bit slower and I know some people are gonna spam like old and chat and stuff like that and thanks, I get it. But yeah, sometimes I feel like it doesn't quite compute as fast up there in my head. I've been a little bit down because of that. Keep it real with you guys. Like I used to be a little bit more quicker on my feet with things and I just feel like it slowed down a little bit, but Age, bro, come on. Uh, how's your sleep? I will admit, Oak, the last, I would say the last few weeks, it's been on and off good. But I'm, this has been more of like, a little bit more often. There are certain days I feel super clear headed, but then there are some days I feel like very foggy. Dude, dude you, I don't want to, you know, point any fingers to anything, but I gotta admit, man. It, this really did start after I got COVID. Like I haven't really got the that mind fog, like lift it quite yet. Tr truly, it feels like it, that's when it kind of started, like that brain fog, and it just hasn't gone away. I have some other friends who say that it just recently went away from them. But... Hey, hey, dude, chicken, how you doing, man? I'm much more lethargic after having COVID twice. Yeah. I even, I went to, I, I, it sounds stupid, but Clackbait, you see what switches we're using today? Um, I went back in some of my older streams and I was watching myself do stuff and I just feel like a different person. But uh, crazy, I'm sick with COVID right now. Take care of yourself, hydrate bro, hydrate. I feel like I'm a lot, obviously a lot more mature in the last few years can definitely say that, but um, yeah, man, it's crazy. But if it, it, it does feel like it, I, again, I don't want to point fingers. I don't want to say like, that's the definite cause, but sure as hell feels that way. I might need to get some lube. I'm actually at a 205G0. He lubed the clack bits. I, uh, is, that, is that technically cheating? Is it cheating if I lube the clack bits? They sounded great stock, but I wanted to just, they were like 98% the way there, and I wanted to give them that last 2%. Best lubed. Happy birthday week. Oh, yeah, dude, this is my birthday week, huh? My birthday is going to be on... It's, not, it's the 22nd. What day is that, Saturday? Just WD-40 the stem. Wasn't that a thing people were actually doing? They're using some, like, spray lube shit in their, in their keyboards and then destroying their keyboards. Man, it is crazy the things that come out of viral TikToks and stuff like that. <clears throat> Will you be checking your mail tomorrow? Oh yeah, I have to. I think I saw your message today, Skull. I've been really off of Discord today. Honestly, I've been off Discord like, other than checking my server and Novel Key server, and then somewhat keeping up with some of my friends, like I have not been on Discord. I've been taking a, a head start and taking a little bit of a mental reset break type thing from uh, some of the apps and stuff like that. Would you lube in, um, realistically, those are, I think are Filion, right? Are those a Filion? 
Any of the Affilion ones, I don't really touch too much unless they're really inconsistent feeling. So no, if those are the ones I'm thinking of, I would not probably go back and kind of re-lube those. Just want to make sure you got it before Sunday. It's called King. Come on, bro. You're too nice to me, man. You guys are all too kind. I don't know why you guys are so kind to me, but also, guys, I got to say, man, the Discord has been popping lately. It's crazy. Damn, you running low on lube? Well, I have one more. I need to order some more. Um, I actually, when clients send over keyboards, I never actually ask them to send lube. Sometimes people do and I use their lube, but uh, I actually just use my own lube for, for builds. So it's, in, it's included in the price. So I go through quite a bit because I'm using this like literally almost every single day. Uh, we want Alex's lube, huh? I'm in too many Discord servers, I ignore most of them. Dude, I need to do a cleanup, but you know when you're too far into Discords, like you have like 90,000 and they're all unorganized? I just moved the ones I, I like at the top and I haven't touched any other ones since. I left about 20 servers yesterday. Yeah, there are a few I need to like remove myself from too. My main issue with a lot of Discords is a lot of gatekeepers and gaslighters. Dude, you wanna hear something funny? Uh, there was a few people, I guess last week, that were spamming that uh, they didn't like my review on a certain keyboard and that I shouldn't have went into a Discord to call them out for bullying people. And I don't know, man. I, I Usually I have the energy to like respond to those people and like make a case of it. I just said, fuck it. I'm not even going to bother, bro. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. It's like, okay, defending people getting bullied is, is, okay. The Alex uh, Discord is fully, full genuine people. Dude, it really is. It's crazy how nice you guys are. I hate how fragmented the hobby is across the Discord servers. You really have, okay, the way I look at it, there are a few groups, right? There are people who just kind of want to be into keyboards and into the community. That, that I feel is like the most common denominator of people. But oddly enough, that's the, the, the most, even though it's the most common, like there's a lot of nice people on keyboards, let's be real. They're probably not the most outspoken because some people who are just nice don't feel the need to share their opinions all the time. Um, so it's not as doomed as you might think, but the, the loudest people in the hobby are the people who have nothing, uh, I don't want to say of value, but they, they need to voice everything in their minds 24 seven. And a lot of it comes out very elitist uh, or very like, I don't want to use the word privileged. So I don't think it's privileged. It just comes out very ignorant sometimes. Nice to see people uh, see opinions and don't feel the need to disagree or agree with them. Yeah, I, I was, dude, I, I, I see this all the time to like everyone that I know. There are just, sometimes you just gotta like allow people to just like be happy, you know? Like if someone's, all right, just let them be them. Like don't make assumptions on their life and stuff. I'm definitely type number one. I only talk and chat um, and want to get alerts for raffles. And dude, I'm the same way. Sporky Forky. What's this up, guy bro? I watch on YouTube named Otos is the nicest guy I know in Keebs. Dude. Oh my god. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that, man. Just watch uh, your VOD of the Envoy Tomorrow Switches. Really appreciate you throwing some tactiles in there. Hey, you, you know what's so funny about that? I hate to admit it. That might be like my second favorite Envoy build out of like the five or six that I've done so far. It legitimately is my second favorite one now. It sounds really good. Um, so with that being said too, I want to actually talk about the Envoy for like one second. I, uh, it's the Gregory. It might be. I also have come to the conclusion now I'm, uh, I, I went in, I don't have it assembled at the moment cause I disassembled and tested a whole bunch of stuff for you guys off stream. But I actually do think while the aluminum is still probably my favorite overall plate, I think the majority of people would probably end up using the FR4 more. Uh, the Ever 4 is, I would say, much more well-balanced sound. It's not quite as high pitch, nor is it too low. I like the high pitch. 
So I think the FR4 is right in the middle and I think the majority of people will end up liking FR4. I still think aluminum is my favorite though. But I, after trying a whole bunch, like I said, I just, I really, really strongly think that most people will end up liking it. Uh, does anyone know what happened or what my mouse is? This is a painted MX Master 3. Not my favorite mouse in the world. I would like to try the MX 3S or whatever. I'm uh, I'm on a little bit of a, I, I gotta be now because shipping and all that, but a little bit of, we're gonna do a little bit of a hiatus from spending on tech stuff unless it's absolutely necessary. But yeah, maybe in the future. I ended up uh, using, I got rid of that Razer mouse that was broken and I'm just using my G Pro. So you prob probably won't ever see the red G Pro anymore here. I've been using it on the other one just because I don't want to buy another gaming mouse. Unfortunate, dude. That 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 razor mouse barely lasted, I wanna say, a little over a year. And this is like very light use. So disappointing. Uh I wanna look into the vertical one. The vertical one seems comfy. I've have a few friends in content creation who say they really like the vertical one. And it does look like something I could probably get into as well. So I did try the copper plate. It's it's not bad. Uh, I actually didn't have high hopes for the copper plate. I still think it's my least favorite plate, I wanna say. But I think if you're gonna pair it with tactiles or just want that super deep, like full bodied kind of like, sounds like coffee now. Uh, it's very full, it's very like deep. It's has like a very specific tone to it. It does sound nice. It's just not my, not my cup of tea. On the fence between Logi and the MX one, but it's time, uh, it's time for the switch. Um, which one's the Logi one? Is that the vertical one? The, the mouse that's probably lasting me the longest is probably the MX Master. And then I have a G502 that I think still exists somewhere in my collection of stuff that still works. But uh, I don't know, I think I think Logitech is my preferred. If I had to pick one of the bigger brands, I haven't tried anything else. I think Logitech is more my preferred brand. None of their stuff, knock on wood or, I don't have wood, knock on wood, none of their stuff has failed for me. But I've had two razor mice ever. Both of them have died. I've had two final mice. One was given to me and then one I purchased. Um, one of those has died. And then I've had, I think over my entire life, four Logitech mice. None of those have died. In fact, I think all of them to this day still work. And one of them I used for years because it was like my, do you guys remember that mouse from Logitech where it kind of looked like bullet holes in it? Do you remember what model number that was? Like the shell itself, like looked like a uh, silver with like these black kind of like, God, I don't remember. Was that the G9? Dude, I don't, I don't honestly don't remember G903. And uh, it doesn't ring any bells, but that's the one I, I used to have. I uh, was updating, how you doing, man? And my goodness, that one there last, I think my dad ended up using that again because his, uh, he had a razor mouse and I think it broke again. G, was it a G503? I don't remember. The, the holes and or like, it looked like dense. That's a better way to put it than what Wedgie just said. What's up, Dutch? Bro, long time no see, how you been, bro? Should I build the Salvation Baby Kangaroos? Are Baby Kangaroos oil tactile or... I don't remember what they are exactly. I can't really recall. The five... Was the MX... What? Dude, I don't remember at all the name of it. I need to look it up. MX... 518, you said? No, it wasn't this one. Was it? It is that one there? Hold on, I don't see a picture of it, the one with the colors. Oh yeah, dude, this was it, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was it. That was a, a very, very, I don't know, man, that mouse still surprisingly is kicking, bro. It's crazy. He, I think he switched to a Logitech uh, wireless mouse now. I, th I don't think he's using the, the razor one because that one there just died. 
He had his for a while though, I have to admit, he did. All right, let's do this. Wanted to say thank you for your build videos. I built my first keyboard this weekend. Uh, helpful to see someone who knows what they're doing. Hey, Zephyr, I appreciate that, man. Sometimes I make mistakes too, but I, I'm glad something helped you, dude. But we learned from our mistakes here, right? That's the big thing. Old, old, the oldest MX518 uh, has the dents. Does the mouse still exist today? Do they still produce that particular mouse? Like, is it exactly the same as it used to be? The MX vertical is, is uh, isn't or is really nice. I have one complaint because the uh, vertical placement of the left right mouse button you tend to accidentally press the mouse cursor. Oh. I think the worst mouse I've ever used, and I, don't get me wrong, I love Apple products, has to be the Apple mouse. That has to be, the, the Magic mouse is the worst mouse I've ever used. For some reason, I'm always accidentally clicking things on it. However, the Apple trackpad is insanely good. Uh, did you buy a Pulsar? No, I'm, I'm, I had some stuff come up for expenses and just like a lot of things catching up with me right now. So we're, we're Xing expenses right now for a little bit for me. The Magic Mouse design is comically bad. It's awful. I got one originally like when I, years and years and years ago when I wanted to buy my first ever Apple computer, it was an iMac. It came with a, a map, uh, a Magic Mouse. And I was so excited and I wasn't really big into wireless stuff at the time. Uh, but it was so cool to see it was wireless. And then I learned that you had to plug it in from the bottom and then you couldn't use a mouse until it was done charging. Missed the color change for the sign? I got you, dude. Light blue? No, no, I got you, I got you. We're gonna do it. I got you, dude. If I ever miss something, feel free and just remind me. This is as light blue as I can get. Yeah, yeah, it's the lightest. 500 IQ design? It's absolutely ridiculous. Weird off topic question, but do you have to remind yourself to be positive in your day to day or does it come naturally? My wife says I need to be more positive. Oh no, dude. Dandy, um, there are, it's okay. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret, okay? There are days where I tell you guys, hey guys, I don't feel like streaming today. Mental health or just like, I just don't feel like it. It's because I, I have no capacity to be positive that day. And I don't want to show you guys that. Like, it's just me being very moot on things, just very like lethargic with things and just like, I don't know, just not in a good mood because maybe something else has like shaped my mood. And I'm very easily influenced emotionally, like very, very easily. So there are days that I tell you guys, hey, I don't want to stream. And I think the easiest way to do things, and I'm learning this too, because this is not something I'm good at. Oddly enough, I'm good at it with stream with you guys. And I'm very honest with you guys too, but um, I need to learn to that when I'm feeling those things, do exactly what I'm doing with, with stream, which is like just walk away from the situation. Uh, but no, sometimes you're not positive all the time. I mean, imagine the type of life you would live if you were just positive all the time and didn't know what the other side of that felt like, right? Like you, you I believe in balance with everything. Like sometimes you have to have a day where you're just feeling shitty and negative uh, because it means that you might have 20 days where you're an amazing person and influence people's lives. But I've, I've been finding lately that if I'm in a bad mood, and this again, something I'm, ever, I'm not good at this, um, I need to, to walk away from a situation and calm down because there is a side of me that gets like angry and frustrated and like, I don't understand. This is the logical thing. Why isn't the logical thing happening? Um, which I think is very common, especially with men. Men are very like, the, the logical brains like just don't fucking understand things sometimes. Like they don't realize there's other sides to a coin sometimes. Logic in the keyboard hobby? Yeah, I know, right? I hope that answers your question though, Dandy. It's impossible to. The best thing I could, I could tell you, dude, if you're feeling shitty one day, you walk away. Um, but if you want a piece of advice on how to feel better and be more positive, and start to have more understanding of things. I don't have like a book you can read. I'm not, <laughs> I don't have a book you can read or anything like that, all right? Practice empathy. Bro, I'm gonna tell you, that's like the secret to everything. You gotta understand how other people are feeling. And if you don't understand, you gotta learn. 
Do you have no empathy? You got to. You got to, you got to like, I mean, like if you're, if you're saying that, I don't mean to tell you what to do, but you got to like take that first step. There's so many doors that will open for you. And this is not just a positivity thing. But if you guys are like, oh, Alex is stupid for being positive. If you guys are like business people, even having empathy in business in this day and age, maybe not 20 years ago. So please don't be influenced by like what your father says or anything like today, today's day and age, empathy will get you very, very far. Sympathy is a different story, okay? Sometimes it's hard to be sympathetic for people. I understand that. I'm the same way. But empathy is a totally different situation with me. I know they kind of sort of go hand in hand, but genuine empathy is extremely rare, but you have, to, uh, but you can learn empathy. Yes, you really can learn to be empathetic. It's like with, key okay, if you want to bring this back to keyboards, uh, Hicksem, how you doing, man? It's like, okay, years ago, there was this big trend to hop on Twitch and do group by reviews. And it would be a bunch of people who weren't designers, but obviously everyone's entitled to an opinion, state their opinion, which was genuinely pretty mean sometimes, but generally people would kind of like be uh, just asses on stream. And it made me feel bad because like the way I look at the way I looked at it back then, and I talked to Marcia about doing our own thing and to show people like, you know, more of a professional way to do it. And sometimes you'd be a little bit silly, but like you, you go on Geek Hack, right? People's first expectation when they go on Geek Hack, so we're going to stop doing this for one sec, is like they go on Geek Hack, they go on any of these hobby forums and they expect to see, I guess, like this, like forum of professionals. There isn't a hundred professionals posting though. Sometimes there are people who just have ideas and they would like to put their idea on an interest track thread because they have, like to them, this is like the peak creativity at the time for them, right? Like this is just what they're trying to do. And to sit there and be like, this is shit, this is bad. Like maybe that's one person's 100% creative capacity. There's better ways to like go about saying you don't like something than comparing them to someone who's done it for years or just like shitting on them. So that's why I, I we started that. It ended up, uh, I think it helped a little bit, but I think more and more people, cause I, I, kept, I was a little more vocal then about things. Cause the state of the hobby was kind of like in a weird spot sometimes, but honestly, I feel like geek hacks gotten toxic. Oh dude, I don't, I've said this since day one. I refused. I've only been on Geek Hack one time when Height misquoted me on something and Marcia, which was ridiculous. I refuse to use it. There's like seven people on Geek Hack who, this sounds mean of me, but it's the truth, have nothing better to do all day long rather than to be dickheads to every person posting there. They lack any sort of common decency to understanding people are just like posting things, just even for fun sometimes. And they're just like, they have all the opinions in the world. It's, it's crazy. Uh, nothing is bad if it's an original design. It's just everyone thinks differently. Exactly, I agree with Chester. Mech market is pretty bad too. They download everything. Wow. Mech market's another one. I don't quite understand some of the uh, subreddits and reddits or reddit threads for stuff, but I don't participate in any, there's, if you guys want to know something, there is a reason I do not participate in any of that stuff anymore because it doesn't bring me any value or happiness. So I will continue doing what I like doing outside of those parts of the community. And you know what? It's brought me tons of joy, tons of awesome friends, uh, an awesome community that I think is full of genuine criticism and like awesome opinions um, with adult adult discussion rather than, you know, an echo chamber of just like calling things bad. And we've had plenty of times where people like challenge people's opinions in a very adult manner as well. So I'm happy with that. I've never been on a geek hack. Uh, I've never been on geek hack, but it never finishes loading. I mean, Geekhack has also ran on like PHP, which is like kind of ancient at this point. 
so it's a little it's a little old just a tiny tiny smidge let's do split right on this I think this will look pretty with split right and we're gonna do full backspace I know some people consider full backspace treason on like I don't know seven new 60s but I love it Facebook is also run on PHP. Well, I think a lot of, I think even technically my blog is ran on a version of PHP, but that, for that I think that's an old version of like a PHP style forum. I don't know what version of PHP it's on. Is this the beta gray proto? It kind of, I don't know if it's just me. It kind of looks like it has a smidge of green in it, just like ever so slightly. I don't exactly know, I don't know if, um, a bunch of numbers is in chat right now to confirm what color this is, but it is genuinely pretty. I would love this color on a lot of keyboards. Very, very pretty. Okay. These are installed. And then I'm thinking we do carbon fiber plate today. I'm thinking that's the move. Speaking of geek, uh, geek hack, did you see the Kikobo AI? Kikobo AI. What is this? I don't, I don't know if it sets for me. Thing is, I'm not really into the super bright keycap sets. Is this based off of a Demon Slayer character? I can see people really liking this if it is. Yeah, it is. It is It is based off Demon Slayer, huh? I can tell them the novelties. It's not really for me. But yeah, if this is a... Uh... Yeah. This, this is going to be very popular, I feel, for people who like this character. Yeah, I think the spring vibe is quite nice. I like more subdued keycaps. Crimson Cadet's probably the brightest that I'll use just because I like red. And then if it's like an orange, I'll use an orange too. Everyone has their color palettes. But yeah, dude, that's a, a definitely a brighter set. All right, clack bits. I know the Quantum has a bunch of different colors too. The Quantum 60. What other colors does this have? It has a crimson red, alpine green. I think this is faded gray. And then sand. I would love to see what sand looks like in person. Sand looks beautiful. Uh, this keyboard, if it ends up having the colors that it states it has, will have a lot of colors that I really like. I like these more muted kind of subdued colors. Uh, that is a prototype sample of the green. Okay. Yeah, I guess keep that in mind too. This is prototypes. So it might not be 100% indicative of like the final thing, but if you can get this color, I, this is kind of like what happened with Mode. Mode sent me a green that was supposed to be just be a prototype and I ended up loving it and it ended up being a green they ended up using for all their production stuff because everyone really liked it. All right, I'm gonna solder in our four corners here because it is a little bit loose. Let's make sure our stabs are all good here. Uh, matcha lattes are so good. Oh, for some reason I thought you were actually talking about matcha. You know what, actually, I don't really like matcha drinks. There are some matcha drinks that I've tried that are okay, but I feel like it has to be a little bit on the sweeter side of matcha. But I feel like matcha can be a Correct me if I'm wrong. Is matcha typically a little bit more, not on the bitter side, but it's not as sweet, right? Like typically that's what matcha is because every matcha drink that I've ever had is like that not quite super sweet, but not quite bitter taste. It's grass. <laughs> it, it doesn't, I, I get what you're saying. It's not like matcha has no sugar. Matcha's okay. Don't, don't hate me for saying that guys. I know some people love their matcha stuff, which is okay. I'm like, uh, I'm very moved on it. I'm gonna move the keyboard over, guys. It does taste like lawn clippings. I love matcha. 
Yeah. I mean, teas in general, I'm not really a tea drinker these days, unless it's like obviously bubble tea, but I feel like bubble tea can get so sweet. Lately, I've been having bubble tea with like 30 or 50% sugar. It's the grass taste when you go in for matcha, my favorite fragrance. What temp do you solder at? I solder at 330 Celsius. I do feel like um, that's the ideal temp with this particular soldering iron, or at least my soldering iron. It doesn't splatter anywhere when I do this, which is exactly what I want. Uh, why do they look at me weird when they ask for 200% sugar? <laughs> well... Actually, a bunch of numbers. Am I supposed to put in the uh, standoffs first? Because I can still do that. Should I put in those like little standoff things? I don't know if I should do that first. Let me quickly go find where the bag of stuff is. Here it is. Does the solder splatter when the iron is too hot or too cold? That is a great question. I don't quite remember which one's which for that. I think it's when it's too hot, right? I just got into keyboards because of you. I just bought the parallel beam keyboard and the GMK uh, full metal keycaps. Ooh, interesting choice of first keycaps. Wait, th those are like the, the actual full metal ones, right? Interesting choice for first ones. Very interesting. Love you, uh, you truly soldered, uh, or have you truly soldered if you haven't splattered? Oh, dude, I know. Don't go there though, I hate when that happens. Hate it. Should I screw this in first? What screws do I need for this? I'm assuming these guys. Uh, no, that's the name of them. It's an Evangelion. Oh, is it? I haven't seen those then. Looks like there's different screws in that one, but I don't see any other. These are flush screws. It wouldn't be these screws, I don't think. Uh, we'll probably recommend doing it first. You can install them afterwards. The optional one under the space bar is a little bit more difficult to put in fully built. Okay. So would it be, I see different screws in the ones that you, you, oh, here they are, Never mind. I'm silly. It's just another bag that was underneath. Got them. I'm gonna put these in first then, before we go too far with soldering. So guys, what this is basically is, we're gonna put some standoffs over here that's good to uh, kind of help seat things. But I thought I thought this was an interesting kind of take on this board. Let's get my... Have you used JTK? I have one set of JTK. Uh, I think it's a good... Oh wait, where's my screwdriver? Uh, I think I left it in my girlfriend's room, building the keyboard or the computer. I've used one set of JTK, but I mean, it was okay. it was good. I didn't mind it. Chuan, give me one second. I might have to quickly grab a, just a different screwdriver. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a different screwdriver. For now. We're just gonna grab this guy. All right. Sometimes you lose your screwdrivers. If it happens, you know? I have all the bits, but I don't know where the screwdriver is. Let's actually move some stuff out of the way here, getting a little bit claustrophobic on my desk. Close alternative for MX Blacks? Ooh, I don't think there is an alternative for MX Blacks. 
Bro, low key, MX Blacks are kind of unique. I long to feel your warm embrace once huh? again, Alexot Cozy, Alexot you, Alexot you, you, Alexot love. Are you gonna be at the novel he's me? Because that would be pretty poggers if you were. Actually, how should I do this? Let's do it like this. Thoughts, Alex? Okay, give me one sec. Let me install these things first, and then I will look at some links you guys are sending me there. Because I have uh, I have my focus on right now, and I want to keep with my focus here. Are those clack bits? They are. Good eye. See, the things, these things are pretty easy to install, actually, which is quite nice. And then, actually, I just want to see. They put one, two, three, okay, for five on this guy. I think I'm going to skip the space bar one for now, I want to say. Yeah, we'll just skip that one there for now. Yeah, we'll just do the one at top, on the top here. Where's the one on the top, actually? Where did they put it? Oh, no, there isn't one on the top. Oh, there's only one under the space bar. You know what? Let's skip the one under the space bar for now. I don't think I want to put that one there. There. Needs more keys? What happened? Compliment? V-dub. You want to compliment? Give me one sec, V-dub. I got you. Hold on one sec, my friend. I think, uh, I, think I need to put these in. I think I might need to desolder this one switch. Uh, did you add additional loop to them? I did, I did. Some people were saying you really, I really didn't need to, but you know what? I think I want it to at the end of the day. Hold on, I'm gonna just quickly desolder those two switches over there because I want to go in and screw these in beforehand so I don't struggle later. I think what I would do if I were you, bunch of numbers, I would make the hole a little bit bigger on the plate so it can kind of just slip through. That way there, if people do kind of start the installation, it's not too tricky. The middle ones are optional to adjust how the O-ring is seated. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. I like the fact that it uh, has some ways that you can change it up to. There's a Detroit meetup soon. V-Dub. V-Dub wants a compliment. Hold on, let me think of a good one for V-Dub. Hey, V-Dub, if you were a prototype, you would need no changes. Ooh. Love you, V-Dub. I hope you're having a great day today, dude. A little burr action going on here. Is it on? It is on. It's not that heated, though. Uh, shit bro, I'm blushing. Hey, sometimes it comes out nice. Sounds like a hedgehog. It does a little bit. Two little quick desolder squirts there. CF plate on top. Yeah, dude, I think the CF plate's the way. Car uh, carbon fiber and aluminum both sound usually pretty darn good when it comes to... Oh, did that not desolder nice? I don't think it actually did desolder that nice. It's okay, I'll squeeze it in. Usually sounds pretty good when it comes to these type of things, so... Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Just so I don't have to desolder all this, because I don't feel like it. Big agree. And there's one. <laughs> Shit, bro, I'm blushing. Is Detroit still scary? I don't know if stuff's still happening in Detroit. I hope that they're okay there. Yeah, I have absolutely no clue what's going on there. Oops. Come back here, screw. Downtown Detroit is nice. Downtown is not bad at all. 
that's good to hear. Alex, you need to see the board I linked. Give me one sec. Now, if you, can you actually link it again? Because I don't see it in the chat. I think it moved up too far. All right. Let's... Hmm. I would recommend tightening the screws. Okay. Do you think I would, uh, do you think I would need the space bar one, by the way? Like, do you think I'm gonna regret not putting it in? What a beauty. What is this? What are you guys linking me here? Oh, you guys have 100% sent me something like this before. If not this exact same thing. Dude, I don't exactly know what anyone would use this for. You guys told me this was for something, right? Like it's for a certain... It's funny though. Man, it's just so much. It's just so much of a thing, you know? Uh, if I meet, if I went to a meet, I don't know if I would bring my auger or tiny Neko. Bring whatever you, makes you happy. Like if you feel like you're getting more joy out of a certain keyboard, bring that, you know? Audio mixing maybe? Damn, having to go in though and program all the buttons yourself? Whew, what a job that is. Actually, let's go back and solder our four corners. Can you really call yourself a keyboard collector if you don't have a 200%? Great question, I don't even know anymore. Great, great question, dude. Can you guys call yourself keyboard collectors if you don't own that? I guess not. I guess not, dude. Gonna need two people to carry that to a meetup? Dude, for real. That's uh, it's, it's just a lot. That's all. It's just a bunch. All right, cool. All right, let's put in our switches now. Finally, a board you can use all your Omni-type child kits on. I mean, it's for demonstrational purposes. I'm sure it's amazing. <laughs> I'm sure it's great, dude. Uh, have you been seeing the crazy prices of stuff now in Canada? Oh, dude, Zen. I, 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 I could talk about this before I feel like the entire stream, but I feel like I am, um, em it's like empty complaining at this point here. You know what I mean? Like, genuinely, dude, I don't know what to do. I'm I'm scared because like, <sighs> so nice. one year everything's slowing stuff. down. So, uh, Nash, thank you so much for the tier one, man. I appreciate the year of being here, bro. It is uh, it is expensive. I told I was telling you guys last time that I was out wanting to buy creamer and. Because I, I, I take my coffee, not seriously, but like I like my coffee. I typically had purchased, because regular creamer kind of upsets my stomach. So I was purchasing this, I think it was an oat, oat creamer called, uh, oh God, I don't remember what it's called now. Anyways, it was about $7 for like a little carton. And I thought that was outrageous, but I was paying it just because like, it was the only creamer that I thought tasted good. It was the only one that didn't upset my stomach. Some of the other creamers in the oat category would do weird things to my coffee. And I don't know, it just genuinely tasted like just fresh, like it was good. So I bought it. Small cartons maybe last like not even 30 days. Go back to the store, go into the store. Typically it's $6.99. I see $9.99 or and I'm just looking at this thing, man. I'm just like, why? Like, how did this jump up $3 in the course of 30 days? And there was like a bunch of other things too. I took a photo of it and I showed you guys in discord. Ruffles makes these potato chips. Ruffles 
all right, makes these chips called Simply, or I guess Simply has this line, or I don't know, with, and it's supposed to be like an organic version of Ruffles. And I looked at it and I purchased it one month for $4.99 just to try. Because, I don't know, it seemed, it was really good. Like it tasted sort of different from normal Ruffles. I was like, let me go back and pick those up one day when they're on sale. I went down the aisle. The new price of those for a bag of potato chips. Now, remember, just because it's organic doesn't mean like anything. They're just potato chips at the end of the day. $9.99 for a small bag of chips. And I was like, bro, get out of here. And I went down the potato chip aisle and they used to have these like in-house brand that were like $1.50. Even those are like $3.40 now. I have I have the photo. I will show you guys later. Insane. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Konikov, how you doing? Organic potato chips. Like I'm really going to buy. Like, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like they're not going to. They're still bad for you. Like they're just potato chips at the end of the day. They're not really doing much for you other than making you happy eating them. I just put my transition TKL, that four millimeter plate. Dude, isn't it interesting? I low key like it. I think that's my favorite plate on the transition TKL. I still have it installed. Yeah, I mean like, truthfully going to buy those like Guinness chips that I really like that you can't buy in Canada that you're gonna have to import. They're still cheaper. Just logged off from work. How are you doing today? Uh, I've kind of perked up a little bit. I think it's partly in fact the energy drink. Also good company from you guys. But I was really sleepy before, but we're, we're over that phase now. We're, we're a little bit over it. Time to hydrate. I'm running a little bit low on this, but I can get some water again later. What's your go-to energy drink right now? <laughs> Whatever's on sale. <laughs> it's so sad saying that. I like a certain energy drink. It's called Guru. Um, but they're never on sale anymore. So it's usually like if I do want an energy drink, it's monsters because they're the only ones that go on sale or rock stars. I like rock stars, but it's whatever's on sale. I, I don't like Red Bulls, so I don't even bother with those. And they're always expensive. Kind of crazy that the, the, the bang has 300 uh, milligrams of caffeine is allowed. I don't know how much Rockstar, I don't know how much anything has. All I know is monsters and stuff really don't do much to me. My fridge is stacked. Oh, dude, Alani. Okay, let me let me be clear. Alani energy drinks are top tier. But I, they, I don't even, I've never seen them at a convenience store, nothing. So I, it's hard for me to say that like in a pinch, those are my go-to because I have, the only place I've ever seen them is Costco. And I don't have a Costco membership. Like I just go with other people when they're going, but I don't really frequent Costco that often. But uh, those are so good. They're also insanely expensive. Oh, you know what I meant to tell you guys? You guys told me to try those, um, I don't even know if they're considered organic or not, but they had one can available, like those, those really nice sodas like the, the alternatives to sodas, those like healthier sodas or whatever. Delicious, but I cannot, I, dude, they're expensive here. So I cannot like, I mean, even Coca-Cola is kind of expensive these days. Instacart for Costco stuff? You can do that? Edward, how you doing, man? Uh, it wasn't Olipop, it was another brand they had and they had a bubblegum flavored soda. So it was delicious. It was so good. Life is expensive. Oh, yes it is, sir. Yes it is. Uh, Dr. Pepper Zero. I can't recall if they do. Oh, you know what I was thinking of picking up in the future? Um, so I think my, my want of an OLED TV, cause I don't, I've never really like, I don't, know, I don't have an OLED TV or anything. I was one of one, but I was looking into also a short throw projector to save space and stuff in the future. Cause that seems like quite an interesting pickup as well. Uh, officially confirmed aspartame is carcinogenic. So keep that in mind lads. 
Well, well, darn. Honestly, I've been trying to have stevia stuff. Laser projectors are insane. OLED's so nice. Projectors are great for outside. LG and Samsung are both fantastic OLEDs. Had a projector that I picked up from Fry's Rip lasted two years before I need a new bulb. Oh, true. I guess you would need to worry about that stuff, that kind of stuff too. Gadget, can you, can you, can you like DM me that? Um, this sounds crazy, but like there were some that I saw, man. Beautiful, like it almost looked like a real TV on the walls of things. But I looked at the price of some of those things. Bruh, they're expensive. But the fact that you can get like a 100 and like crazy sizes, 120 inches of like real estate on your wall from these tiny little boxes is crazy. I think truly like that's magical. Uh, hey Alex, I knew you were wondering the other week how I did my CPA. I ended up passing. Oh, you must be like in such good spirits right now. I'm super proud of you, by the way, bro. That's huge. Do you have any plans for the summer now that you're, I guess you're done with that, right? You have any plans? Seriously need to plan for the, oh, is it hot too? See, I don't know any of these things. So this is the first time hearing about any of this. For everything these days is carcinogenic. Uh, I'm kind of in the same boat as you, Nev. Like, I feel like everything is bad for us. I mean, <laughs> okay, th this sounds super ignorant of me, but like, I've, I've never really worn sunscreen my entire life. I wore a bit when I got my tattoos done because they told me I had to so they didn't fade. But like my girlfriend brought me down this whole thing about how like the sun is just uber bad for you. And like, <laughs> bro, even going outside's killing you. So it's like, I, I don't know, man. Like I get it. I, tons of shit's bad for you, but man, to, to, to think about that stuff sometimes just is uber depressing. Alex now look like that old lady in SpongeBob when he's 45. Come on, bro. Guys, wear sunscreen. Yes, I've learned now that it's not very good for you at all. There's different rays that like really do bad things to your skin, but bro, I didn't know growing up. Like no one told me. They just kind of told me sunscreen if you didn't want to have a sunburn or something. That's as much as I knew. but I did know how to add two letters together in math. So <laughs> that'll help me fight off uh, all the bad sun rays. <laughs> uh, bro, even computer screens can mess you up. It's true. The GF made me get SPF, ad uh, made me an SPF advocate, had some tiny sunspots in my hands and it helped me not grow it. True. Slow Corey, thank you so much for the prime. Yeah, I'm um, a little bit more aware of that now. I mean, mind you, I still don't really apply. I don't really go out much, so. Uh, I guess I got a lubricate with sunscreen now. Yeah, I was looking into brands the other day, cause I don't know anything about them. I was kind of went on this like little binge, personal like binge, like looking at brands and stuff. And even the brands are very, very different. And then I went through this whole thing about how like, there's one brand that was using a chemical inside the sunscreen that was even worse for you than the sun. I think I was on TikTok as well. There's this whole rabbit hole full of stuff. Uh, I hate this skin. I hate that the I hate the skin feeling that a lot of sunscreen gives you, or the sticky feeling. Yeah. Hi Alex, first time tuning in. What's going on, Hunt? How you doing, man? We're just getting into soldering now, but we've installed all our switches. We're doing the Quantum 60, which I think is a very cool 60% with an extended little macro column. The clack bits are looking kind of cool on this PCB though, huh? I like this. Very, very neat. I love those switches so much. Yeah, they're cool looking. All right, let's install these guys. Did you already say what keycaps you were gonna use? Um. I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided, to be honest. I see. Carbon fiber plate tadpole mount, wow. <laughs> wow, I love when it says wow on the TTS thing, man. If you guys ever want to sub and just put wow, uh, that would that would be great because that is the funniest thing the TTS thing says, just wow. It's so sarcastic sounding. 
<clears throat> Asian skincare brands have great sunscreen, no weird feelings. Dude, they're so expensive though. <laughs> All like, uh, my girlfriend dragged me to a Korean skincare thing. Wow. <laughs> wow? <laughs> Thank you, Hermes. I appreciate that, man. The Korean sunscreen stuff? Oh my god, screen Korean beauty care is like crazy, dude. We use, um, I did splurge on, this is a while back. This thing's lasted me a long time, though. I did kind of splurge on a nice shampoo, though. It was a Korean company. I think it was like 40 bucks or something. It was expensive. Wow. <laughs> Uh, dude, I love the wow thing. I think the more O's you put in there, I think it becomes more ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> it's so stupid sounding. It's like, wow. Cool. Good for you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, really, I don't know if it'll do a really long wow. I don't think we probably tried that. I don't know. Greg Civil War. Oh, God. Are we having another Greg debate? I don't know if Greg would look, he remotely look good on this keyboard today. The Owen Wilson Dude, that's what it kind of reminds me of, yeah. A little bit. Wow. Gregory is a plague bringing the hobby down. It needs to be stopped. We must wow against it. <laughs> Dude. I, I, it's... You know what it is, like, it's a meme set, but I think it's earned its place in this hobby at this point for just being such a troll. Thank you though, Icy, I appreciate that, man. Uh, I used a flux pen for the first time recently and it helped so much, to be honest. I've never tried one of those. So wait, what does that help with exactly? Does it help with like, just soldering things down? Does it ever look good? It looked good on, I think we had one keyboard where I'm like, oh wow, this actually does look good. But it was like, kind of a themed keyboard that probably would have looked good with any yellow set. I think it's just the tone of yellow that Greg is as well. It's a little bit more of that like, it's like green. There's a certain green that I just don't like either. Like this, this orangey kind of yellow, this is a pretty yellow. But I think uh, the, the the Greg style color has a little bit of a, I don't know if it leans a little bit more into the green of yellows, but I don't like it. Serica's pretty. Serica's a very pretty one, yeah. I looks like taxi yellow. I mean, even taxi yellow has a bit more orange to it. I think if it leans a bit warmer as a yellow, I like it. He's trying to say that Greg makes him vomit. Oh my gosh. I want a coffee machine in that yellow, but my GF wouldn't let me get it. Okay, to your defense, one or two appliances in a very bright color can be really fun in a kitchen. But I do agree that if you have too many already in too bright of a color, it just kind of looks like too much. So where are we going for our two year? Ooh, you got crap. five months to think about it, Alex Sip. Hmm. Okay, you know what? When the two year pops up, we're gonna give you a sick answer. We're gonna have the date lined up. Uh, one thousand percent. She was right. Uh, the one we got instead looks much better. The yellow just was cool. I know. I'm a sucker for that too. Like, uh, there was a kitchen appliance that I saw that was like this beautiful like candy apple red and I was like bro this is sick but like I know that it just looks cool <laughs> mix the Greg with darling to have pink Greg <laughs> oh no uh, I kind of want my whole apartment to have colorful stuff. I mean, you can go full colorful though. Like you can, you can go like, depending on how you want to style your stuff, you can have tons of stuff with tons of character. I think it's becoming trendy in some home design to just have stuff super decorated, like nonstop 
colorful and just iconic pieces that you really like. It's a total style. It's a vibe. Um, hold on, what's this guy cook? We need a caramel apple board. Mm, that made me, I don't know why, man. I just thought, of, I just thought of apple pie. Fuck, I haven't had an apple pie in forever. Just a nice warm slice of apple pie with a nice coffee. Oh, I'd be in heaven right now. God, I need to do, I need to change that. Maybe I'll pick up like one of those frozen apple pies and bake it or something. I low-key kind of prefer cherry pies, but man, I have not had a nice apple pie in so long. Do you guys like putting like uh, ice cream or whipped cream on your apple pies? I'm not too into that. I know tons of people are though. Okay, big. Okay, Kenny. Peach cobbler? I can't say I've ever... Have I had a peach cobbler? I, I know what it is. I don't think I've ever had it. I think I've had it sliced one time. Mickey and friends hold the wire... Oh, look at this. This is cool. That's really neat. If you have... Like, dude, this is a nice little centerpiece. Like, having things like this in your home... Like, people think this is tacky, but if you get, like, nice centerpieces and, like, you don't... I feel like if you don't overdo it, it looks great. But if you can also overdo it and just, like, make the whole thing stylized, it looks also great, too. Wait, they have some cool lamps on this website. I'm going to keep this open. Wait, what is this website? I've never even seen this. What the? They have, like, a Goku? All right, I got to keep this open for later. Uh, just found your stream and wanted to ask what IEMs are you using uh, and are you running them through a DAC amp or not? So, I am using Campfire Andromedas. They are an earlier revision, not quite the first. Uh, they're my favorite IEM. They've also lasted me the longest. They've actually taken quite the amount of abuse. Like, I think if I show you guys the outside shell of these, they're all banged up and stuff. Yeah, they're pretty banged up. They are fantastic um i am not using an amp DAC. in fact i would uh after being in audio for so long man i hate saying this because i feel like there is some truth to it but i really don't see i i it's hard for me to hear discernible differences between like high-end dax and amps versus low-end like, especially if they're just solid state stuff. So as long as you have something that just sufficiently powers your stuff uh, and doesn't have any sort of interference, that's all. I will say though, if you want it to go with a tube amp, a tube amp can sometimes make a huge difference in the way you hear some stuff. But I just plug them straight into the MacBook. I sold, I still have one of my amp DACs but I sold all of my stuff. I used to have this really beautiful Marantz stack that was like, just like my, my pride and joy back in the day when I was into audio. I bought some like poopy Theo, it's not a joke, E10K, and it sounded way better just cause it was not as hot and just like, I don't know, just, just sounded like normal sound. And I'm like, all right, just like this better, screw it. At like fucking forty dollars on Amazon too. <clears throat> tube amps are really nice though. Like I, I can actually genuinely tell you, tube amps definitely warm up the sound or sound signature of what you're what you're listening to. Plus they look really cool on your desk. So tube amps are kind of cool for that. Outside that though, I don't hear a difference. Honestly, haven't touched my dark voice in ages. Yeah. Un unlike keyboards, audio is one of those things I really had to convince myself I was liking. And I, I, I enjoyed my time in it, but like, man, a lot of this stuff is super subjective because everyone's ears hear a little different, right? Depending on what frequencies you can hear, etc., your age, all this stuff. 
Have we talked about drop getting bought already? Uh, somewhat. I mean, I think Corsair is a cool brand. So it'll be interesting to see what they, if, if they do anything at all with drop. But I don't quite understand why they got drop. Like, I think that's what makes me a little bit curious. And unless Corsair is going down the custom route, but we'll see. Corsair usually doesn't kill off the mains they buy. Yeah, I mean, that, I think they there was an announcement or something that I read that drop's still going to be run the same way, but I just don't get it. I don't know if it's like the profile or anything, but... Okay, Raykami. They, okay, from any audio person in here, that Apple dongle, if you go read the reviews about the DAC that they put in the Apple dongle, that nine, I don't know if it's still $9.99, it's a $10 dongle, that DAC is surprisingly like well regarded. That little thing they put inside there. I think Ken Rockwell wrote uh, a really good piece on it too. But it is surprisingly really good. The Apple dongle has insanely low distortion levels. Yeah. It is crazy good. From a technical standpoint. You're not, you're not going to hear like crazy different sound from it. But uh, Is there an alternative to the Apple dongle for EU Android users? Uh, I think there's tons of different dongles. I don't know if there's the exact same chip that Apple used. I don't know if it's like a Burr Brown chip or something like that. But... I'm sure you can find a, a well-reviewed, cheapy dongle for Android stuff. Uh, for IEMs, an argument could be that you don't need anything else. I don't use it. I mean, when I had my big amp DAC, I actually had to buy this attachment that basically lowered the sound coming to the, the IEMs. Assuming Apple switches to USB-C with the new EU laws, they'll probably make a USB-C dongle. That's true too. That is very true. Man. Okay, I know you guys hate when I talk about this. I I like my Apples. Like my Apple computer. God. It just for productivity, man, it just works. I love it. It's great. Oh, do they already have a USB-C? Oh, true for the iPad. That's true. That's true. Max would use GOAT? Yeah, man, it's... No issues. It's just, I don't know, it just works. Alrighty. We are done putting the clack bits inside our PCB for the Quantum 60. Okay, now let's open up the Quantum 60, shall we? Again, very pretty looking board. Love this color. I hope this color ends up making it to the production. Has this piece of polycarb on the bottom too. You can kind of see it on the corners. Love the materials they use for this. Love it. Very pretty looking board. So some great choices of different things to give this board a breath of fresh air. Love it. You got the little cherry lip on the front. Beautiful looking, classic looking side profile layered with different stuff. Great looking, again, just to kind of show you guys this one more time. Gorgeous. Bottom piece, classy. Logo's not too intrus intrusive either, so just kind of works there. There we go. All right, let's open this thing up. Uh, screwdriver, screwdriver, screwdriver. Where did I touch you? One thing I never understood is why they didn't switch the iPhone to USB when, oh God, man. I, honestly, I don't even know. It's a mystery to even me. It, it is, like, dude, the other day I took out my iPad for the first time in ages, and I went to go use it, and I'm like, bro, why isn't my lightning plugging into this? And then I realized that it's not lightning. I'm like, oh my god. What bit do I need for this? this Are these? One of those screws isn't taking to my bit nicely. Could be a little worn down since it's a proto. 
Uh, lightning is so outdated and bad. I don't really know too much about the history of lightning. Cool. Let's move this over to this. Actually, you know what? Because I want to see. Oh my, is it in here? Bruh. The whole time it was in the bottom. Let's just take out the screws. The bro, dude. I didn't realize it was sitting underneath. We've all been there. How is I supposed to know? Okay, I'll go find the screw afterwards. Somewhere on my carpet. I want to see this though. This is cool. So it's just like a little, uh, ooh, okay. So it is in a polycarbonate piece. This looks, this looks like complex. Interesting. So for this one, since I'm not gonna top mount this, I'm gonna O-ring mount this. I think what I do is I put the O-ring on, do I take this off? Let me look at the instruction manual. <sighs> because you're supposed to know everything, true. Uh, let's see, let's see. I wanna just double check my instruction manual here. Did I have it open still? Did I close it? I think I closed it by accident. So for, oh, I gotta put the daughter board in too, actually. Maybe we'll do that first. Let's do that first, actually, before we get too far. Too far into this. And then it'd be these two, these two screws over here for that, right? Let me double check. They actually have like a pretty decent little guide that I'm looking at too. So always helps, especially for a more complex build. What does the back uh, look like? It's uh, pretty simple. I think it's classy looking though. I think the, the attic component of it using, oh, wrong bit. Uh, a few different materials here is really cool. Really, really cool for this. The only advantage to lightning port is over the types. Oh, is, is it actually more durable? The, the least durable connector I've ever seen though is micro, micro, is it micro USB? That is the least durable of anything that I've ever seen in my entire life. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I've had like every micro HDMI and micro USB just completely break and die. It's just awful. Hold on, let's figure out where the Word, I hate them. Roke, thank you so much for the tier one, man. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure all the gaskets and all the other stuff, if we had to use those, are installed already. So we don't have to do that, but I will install, be installing this. TLDR, oh, I'll let that read, I guess. TLDR, lightning is USB to standard 480 megabytes per second. Type C is up to 10 gigabytes per second. The lightning connector is stronger when hit in a very specific way. Is it? That's kind of cool though. How's my day been? It has been, uh, I guess to keep it on a reel, I've just been tired today. Like today has been a day that I didn't get enough sleep. I stayed up a little bit last night to do some stuff. And then I was sad that I didn't get a few things, or I didn't get to spend personal time yesterday doing, playing video games. So I ended up battling myself, which is never a good thing by the way, and played video games for a little bit last night. Next thing I know it was like 2.30, 3 a.m. And I'm like, what have I done? I have to do work in the morning for Novel Keys. And I ended up just, Going to bed, I fell asleep the moment I hit the pillow though, so that was good. 
But then I woke up at 8 eight thirty. Hello, I haven't seen you in a Richie. while. How have you been? Kind of, yeah, so basically, yeah, I've just been tired, man. Like, to answer Richie's question and everyone else's question, like, someone else asked me how else am I, but... So, just a little bit tired. It's my own fault, ultimately, but... I mean, it is what it is. So, I like this. This installs really nicely. Some of these are a little bit finicky, where you gotta, like, battle with the wires and stuff, but this was nice. This is very clean. I like this a lot. Still not uh, relieved from yesterday's build, so it was a struggle. It wasn't that bad. I think the thing that, like that was just a bit annoying from yesterday's build was um, oh, let's put it in this one here. I think this is two different sizes. One's longer. Or actually, is is that right? I just need to kind of bring it up a little bit here. I think I'm just more like a little bit peeved that. I kind of didn't realize that like, I don't know. I don't know, it's my own fault ultimately. Hold on with this one back. But uh, there was a few things from yesterday's build that I don't like. I really, really don't like ribbon cables and keyboards. Like, it's just not my thing, man. I, I don't like it. How do you keep your mustache so defined? I use a trimmer and then I trim it. I think if you're, a guy who's getting into growing a mustache, you have to keep it maintained that way. My laptop finally booted up, let's go. Let's go, right? Cause like, if you don't, here, I'll kind of zoom in and show you guys. Actually, this is too zoomed in, I'm so sorry. Uh, if you don't maintain it, you get hairs that end up going past your lip, it looks stupid. Then you get hairs like, you have to kind of even comb it. Uh, and then you get hairs that go up and everywhere. Like you even see this one right over here? Right over here, like sometimes they go up, right? So you gotta like keep it down, keep it nice. Uh, it's longer than my first. Damn, longer than my first relationship. Hey, yo, what the? Dude, thank you so much for being here, man, for five months. Really appreciate you, bro. All right, so then this is for... So for O-ring mount, install the four custom standoffs, did that. And then it says place one side of the assembly is shown in the diagram. Okay, so that would be, I guess we have to unscrew this. Got some curlies at the end, possibly. Oh, I mean, you know, my mustache? Oh, I try. I used to have such a long mustache that I was able to do that, but no longer. That is uh, not really my style anymore. All right, so let's grab my screwdriver again. Do you have a name for your stash? I am not too sentimentally attached to it, but I also don't think I would look good without it, if that's fair. Do you ever keep food in it for later? I can't say I do, Skull King. <laughs> I'm over here blind to the macro column, trying to figure out why this bottom case is so long. Oh yeah, it's a 60 extended today. I know the name's a little deceiving because a lot of people put like 60 XT in their names when it's an extended. But this does not, which I think is totally fine. Kind of prefer it that way actually. Okay, let's take a look at all this. So this is really interesting. This is technically, if you want to consider this part of the, the build, a four piece construction with a weight. So I can see why this demands a little bit of a higher price tag, which I am totally okay with. This is really cool. Everything's, even though this is a proto, this is pretty well handled. There was like a little bit of a scuff on the outside that I noticed in one of the corners, like very minor. This is really neat. Um, so this is for O-ring, and then place one side of the assembly is shown in the diagram, ensuring just the O-ring uh, rests. Oh, so we put it on, do we put the O-ring on first? B -b 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 yes. Okay, I don't know all the durometers for this, so I'm just gonna play a guessing game.
literally just gonna whatever which one's the firmest I think the black one. Oh yeah Okay, let's just use this guy Attach the o-ring between the PCB and standoffs Hmm, So interesting so unlike typical I guess o-ring mounts this would go on the standoffs so technically if you wanted to use i'm assuming i'm doing this right if i am technically you could use regular screw in stabs and this would be totally fine which is kind of neat and then what's my next step here next step is placing this guy down into this is there a specific way for this? Or am I doing this upside down here? Give me one sec to figure this out, guys. Does it fit straight down? It uh, doesn't fit straight down? Oh, it doesn't fit straight down? Am I doing this the wrong way then? Does it go this way? You have to lever it in from one side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I guess let's go like, kind of have to really press it into place here. Doing bedtime with the kid, good night. Take care, cancerous. Love you, dude, thanks for being here. Okay, I see it's going down now. Makes sense, makes sense. Gotta like push fit into place here. If you have any, if you have the, uh, was the, it, it is the momentum uh, red, I believe. I think there's only one red that they made, ended up making for that board. But it is the momentum red. I guess you could also just use like a little credit card or something. To kind of like help push this into place. Actually, is that not going in nicely? We got one side in, sort of. Okay, let me pop this out. It's a bit finicky in this proto. Design has a little chamfer to make this, okay, perfect. I was gonna say like, definitely a little awkward for this proto, but we'll see if we can get this in nicely. Hmm. So, do you mean one side like left to right or do you mean top to bottom a uh, bunch of numbers? Oh, hold on. I think I have it nicely now. Wood switches, these are clack bits, which is a lot of people's preferred switch, apparently. Uh, I think the original GB ran with the Momentum Red. Yeah, the new powder coated stuff, I'm not too sure what that would look like. So that would be above above what I know. I think I got it all. Took a little bit of pressure to get in, but it seems like we got it. And then the O-ring should be resting on top of the six screw points. So do I... Do I move it in between this bunch of numbers? I don't know if you can see it. Do I pu pull this O-ring over this? Is that the idea here? In between the two parts? Gotcha. interesting very very interesting it's always nice when the designers in the chat it's a little fin it's a little finicky for sure but it's not difficult by any means Definitely not difficult. 
Oh, look at that. That's that's nicely fitted in now. Perfect. Very interesting. And these just kind of slot into that. Very cool. Um, I need to continue studying. Bye, Richie. Take care, friend. I hope all is well. Cool. So now it is all resting in between these two parts. This is my first time with clack bits. I was actually saving them for this board because I thought this board was a really cool choice for this. Cool, now we can assemble this back together. Uh, yes, we have to assemble it this way. <clears throat> I was literally just looking at them. Yeah, they're, they're clack bits. I think they're gonna sound nice in this board. Um, Salvation or Envoy, if I had to pick one, I mean, I kind of like the Envoy a little bit more, but both are amazing for typing feel. I just think the Envoy has a slightly nicer sound profile. Okay, so we're gonna install the screws on the top again. And it says we might have to slightly shift the O-rings to get it done, which is totally fine. The other thing too, I would probably ask for if it's not too much trouble, bunch of numbers. I know this seems like ridiculous of me, but magnetic screws are always a nice touch. Uh, how would you guys literally just uh, justify owning multiple keyboards, by the way? Just interested since I kind of want to build another one. I have a question for you. Here, let's let's play a hypothetical game. Uh, Lost, you own more than one pair of shoes. Like, I could sit here and spout a million different reasons why it's okay to do something. But like, for example, if you own more than one pair of shoes because you like two different styles, it's the same thing. It's, it's okay to pick up, as long as you're financially okay with it, it's okay. Like, if you want to get two, get two. If you want to get three, get three. If it makes you happy, makes you happy. Makes so much sense actually, thanks. No worries, man. At the end of the day, and this is for any hobby possible, even even hobbies that make no sense to us maybe. Like, you know what? I, I don't quite understand certain hobbies. Like I'm never gonna be into collecting like high-end fashion and stuff like that. But the people that are into it, who are like genuinely inter interested in it, that it makes them happy. Uh, and even though I don't understand it, I'm gonna let them do them. Because at the end of the day, it's all that matters, man. It just happens, exactly. So I feel like this is kind of double mounted in a way, right? It's kind of also mounted in between these as well. And then it has an O-ring to kind of help close a gap at the bottom. Because that's where I feel like some of the O-ring sound kicks in. Interesting though. So it's almost like a pseudo gasket mount slash o-ring which is interesting yeah i'm very interested to see how this is going to sound like extremely interested cool though very cool um i collect sneakers but i wear them all i don't care for creasing and all that shit i'm the same way with keyboards oh god hold on let me just Sometimes you have to like bend, tip for GSTs. Sometimes you gotta like not fight the bend, you gotta create the bend. Uh, I am, I'm not really a collector in the sense of I buy and then never use. I actually don't really like buying products that way. It's very uh, counter, oh, hold on, we forgot, we forgot the little polycarbonate piece. I'm not used to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 we got that, we got it, we got it, I remembered. Such a cool mid, like mid piece. So neat. Okay. That is pretty. Let's screw this bad boy back in. But yeah, I've never been one to, to I guess, buy and sit on a shelf. Unless it has no real use case. 
This is why I think having a, a magnetic screw might be extremely handy for this. So magnetic screws are my only real, uh, this part's the worst. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use tweezers, I think, to drop these guys in. Magnetic screws, I think, are the fix for this. Truly. Please do uh, something like this for Topper. And then, oh, yeah, okay. I think magnetic screws are a definite must hold on. At least they're not a pain in the ass to take out entirely. Do you have a, a list of vendors that this is gonna be at? Bunch of numbers? Or like an idea of who's gonna be selling this or will you be selling this? Can't wait to receive my class 60. I, dude, this thing's amazing. Five boards in your rotation now or five boards you'd like to keep in my rotation. The, the boards that are currently sitting in my rotation are Envoy, class 60, um, Unicorn, F18X, and Sonnet. Hold on. This particular side is not screwing in nice. Hold on, guys. I'm just gonna unscrew everything for a second. I think the, uh, JST was just in the way a little bit. Much better. Okay, so let me go over that again. Sorry. Envoy. Just let me drop these all in, then I'll screw them. Envoy is number one that's in my rotation. Class 60, I've been using a crap ton. F18X. Um, Sonnet, so that's what, four. And then the only other board that has seen a lot of use on my desk lately has been my Suse. But I'd say five boards that I kind of want to throw back into the rotation. Ooh, oddly enough, I just went in. Actually, no, please flip over. Um, Moon Tower, I'd like to throw back into the rotation. I'd like to use more of my bias. I think I use it, but then I feel like I also don't use it enough. What else would I like to use? Mm, my Ori. I want to use my Ori more. That would be a board I'd be genuinely interested to throw some keycaps back on. Uh, I'd like to use my key cult more a little bit too, but I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm not as into my key cult these days. The number two anyways. Okay, some of these feel like they're not truly screwing in the greatest, but they also felt like on that when I was unscrewing them too. Might just be the threads are a bit worn down from I guess use. It's okay. Interesting. Um, I haven't built my cause yet. Yet. Wait, was there one more that I was supposed to put in here? Am I missing one screw? I don't think so. Was there another one? Am I missing one? No, they all have screws. Hmm. My Kohaku would like to throw back on my rotation too. That's for sure. I, I agree with that. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there an eighth one that I, I can't see? There should be eight. Am I going blind here? 
Unless the plate's covering it somewhere. Do you guys see it? Under the space bar? I wouldn't be able to get to that if that's the case. Left Under the space bar, left of the switch? Oh, wait, no. Under the space bar, left of the switch. I don't think I can get to that. Under the plate. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I can't get to that with the plate, right? That's kind of being blocked. Not really necessary. Okay, we'll just move this one here off to the side. I'll put it back in a baggie. So, okay, there is, I'd say like two things that I'm not like, when, like the O-ring thing's already being fixed, bunch of numbers said. And then I think just magnetic screws for the top. Maybe if this is, if this is non-necessity, the plate obviously needs to be fixed for that, but. Ooh. Look at this side profile again. Oh man, this looks beautiful. This looks cool. I think it's the uh, polycarbonate piece. I know I keep stressing that, but man, what a sharp looking board this is. This is pretty. Well, I'm gonna put some stuff away and then we'll, we'll go in and play around with this guy a little bit more. Reminds me of the Judy board. That, I don't think, is it, you mean visually or what do you mean? I'll put this back in here. Boards of Beauty, yeah. Is there lighting between the polycarbonate pieces? No, and I, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of happy there isn't. I think I'm a little bit burnt out on some of the RGB stuff recently. I, I think it just works as a small accent piece that gives the board its character, you know? I don't know. I want to use something that'll really complement this. I'm, I'm thinking, man, actually, I don't know what I want to use. Hold on one second. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hear me out. Norse. What do you guys think of Norse? Do you think GMK Norse would look hot on this? No, no, not boring yard again. Not Norse? Norse would be sick. I don't like Norse. Kikobo Glacier? Oh, that would be interesting too. Do I have any other sets that I haven't used yet? Hold on, guys, hold on. Did I hear Gregory? Huh? I don't think I heard Gregory. I'm down for Norse. Okay, it's either Norse or, hold on, let me just give everything a look-see. Hold on one moment. You know what else might look really nice on this is Noir. Noir look might look beautiful on this. If we want to go with something like dark for the keycaps. Or, hold on. I don't know, Noir or Dracula? Dracula is pretty blue though. I don't think Dracula would look as good as you guys think on this. Uh, I don't have that set quest. Pyga, I don't think would look good on this. I'm thinking Noir or Norse. I'm leaning more towards Norse myself. Yeah, I'm kind of down for Norse. I'm gonna go with Norse, guys. I don't know, there's also monokine material, but I feel like I've used and abused that set too. And I feel like that also is a bit too blue for this, and this has a slight bit of green. I don't have that yet, dude. 
The, the contrast from Pyga. I don't know if I want to use Pyga. I need to get the rest of the Norse, actually. What's going to put on as much as I can for now? And then I'll get the rest. I don't know. I feel like this, this kind of works because this has that bit of like a blue green to it. The one thing I have to review on the Salvation is this material did not hold these feet very well. So I have like all the feet off of this board for the most part. Actually, I'm gonna take this one here off too. But yeah, the feet didn't work too well on this. Not that it really matters. It's on a desk pad anyways. I don't, dude, that's another set I wish I had. I need more like brown slash, ooh, green sets. This looks good on this. Agree or disagree? This is a nice set for this. I think this is the right call. I think this is the right call, dude. <clears throat> the blue looks so nice in the gray. Yeah, dude. Oh God, these are hard to get. Okay, the, the, the Salvation with the Nixies, still such a banger sound. <sighs> Looks better than I thought, good choice. Yeah. What's up, no num nums? Did I say hi to you today? Dude, it's funny, you came, well, you and your board kind of came up in a conversation I was having the other day with someone. Someone had asked me, like off stream, what I thought my the best Alice keyboard I've ever used. And I told him I told them there's only one Alice keyboard, well, two Alice keyboards they've ever kept. And uh, I still like break out to use. And that's actually another board I wish I put more into my rotation, but I'm just not that great on typing on an Alice, uh, which is the Alicia. Such a nice board, dude. What switches are these? These are clack bits in this one. And these ones here are the Nixies. You can actually build this plateless with the O-ring as well, guys. That's the cool thing about this board too, which is demonstrated on this guy. So the O-ring sits on these bottom pieces. So you, if you want, you can technically go plateless in this too, which I'm sure sounds just as good. Glad you still, uh, glad you still bust out the Elysia from time to time, man. It's genuinely nice. It's sitting behind me, keycaps still on it the same. Like, usually I can tell I love a keyboard, like truly love a keyboard. <gasps> did I put this in the wrong spot? I did. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one here on for now and I'll desolder that here in a second. Why did I put the S over here? I think I got mixed up when I took it out. It's okay. We'll fix that in a second when we swap to this guy. Not the end of the world. The show will go on. Mistakes happen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this has an interesting sound profile to it already. Do you like any Keychron boards? Um, Keychron boards are okay. I don't think I gush over Keychron boards. I think they work very well. If you're going for something that you need to be on a budget for or just need something quick and easy, um, they're great for that. I think there's some definite areas that you can mod them for, but for me, they're just not like, not something I need in my rotation of things. And then I also have a, like, I have this thing that I think Keychrons definitely all have like a very similar aesthetic to one another. Oh man, I'm so sad I did this. It's okay. We'll uh, we'll desolder that here in a second. Why is Salvation skidding around? Oh, I took off the feet. It they, this feet didn't really work too well in this finish. Hi, Sudo. How are you doing? Fuzz, thank you so much for the prime, bro. Exot amazing. Guys, I really think this was a good keycap choice. If you guys don't know who Sudo is, Sudo is a very talented artist. Extremely. 
definitely stop by her streams. Uh, my friend uh, took a random trip uh, to Japan, some airline miles thing. Are there any special keyboards items in Japan? Ah, I, I don't know anymore. There has been some cool projects that have come out of Japan, but I don't know if like you can go and like find them in like a local store or something. Doing good, hope it's been all, all, all has been well with you. Yeah, I've been doing pretty good. I think today, like I was mentioning earlier, I'm just like extra tired today, but it's okay. We'll get over it. We will get over it. It is what it is. Clack bait switch, yes sir. This still looks nice over here, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, this definitely has a bit of, a little bit of movement happening to it still, which is cool. Let me get the rest of the Norse here. Morning, morning Trillion. Thanks for being here, bro. Uh, J uh, Japanese keyboard stuff is kind of overpriced. I don't think it's overpriced, but there is like, I think a lot of, um, hold on, let me just get the Norse guys. One moment. Is it in a box still? Man, I don't know. I've, I've definitely purchased my fair share of not only keyboard stuff from Japan, but just like general items from Japan. And I do find that, um, I would say the culture there for a lot of things is a lot more like artisanal. So you tend to get stuff that's like well handcrafted. And I don't know if that's the same for computer parts and stuff like that, but I've definitely found in the other line of hobbies that I am purchasing Japanese parts. I mean, I've always enjoyed them. So camera gear as well. Yeah, especially camera gear, especially. I'm just gonna put this little control over here. I apologize for soldering on the wrong one there, but just ignore it for now. We'll fix that later. Not the biggest deal in the world. Okay. There's, the accent is kind of off. Should I switch to the regular? Let's switch. I hope I left the regular in here. Okay. Oh, I'm building the Pluto tomorrow, I think. I can't remember my schedule this week. Does this week here I'm a little, I told you, my brain's not 100% this week, so I don't really remember my schedule. This is a pretty looking board, man. I really like this. Like, wow, that looks beautiful. Okay, I'm still gushing over the use of the polycarbonate as like an accent. I would have never thought to do that. Yeah, I like this. This is a really nice looking board. <laughs> I'm not doing a lick test, please. Oh, uh, do I like the clack bits? I haven't even used them yet. Give me a set quest and I'll let you know. So this is the FR4 plate with clack bits. I did lube these. Uh, so this is a long pull switch and I did decide to use the FR4 plate and the O-ring mount. This is kind of like, I wouldn't describe this as, what well, doesn't really feel or look like it assembles like a, tr a traditional O-ring mount. It's kind of like a pseudo O-ring slash sort of a top, like a gasket. I wouldn't even say top, but you can make it a top mount. Let's see how this thing sounds. It is soft, which is kind of nice. Or sorry, did I say FR4? Carbon fiber, my mistake. Honestly, to me, carbon fiber and FR4 kind of share the same sound trait. Oh, I like this. You told me this space bar wasn't that good. This is great. This has like really punchy alphas too.
Ooh. How's the num row? Oh, this, do you mean the F row? Um, maybe the weakest part about the sound of the keyboard. Sounds a little empty on the top left. But I mean like, for, I don't think you, you're gonna be using this for sound per se. It's not really what you're typing on. Yeah, I would say this, it could also be uh, your right bunch of numbers. It could be that cut you put over here. It does sound a little emptier on the left side of the board. Again, me personally, that wouldn't throw me off too much. Maybe if that flex cut was removed or that relief cut was removed there, it could possibly bring some umph back to the F, F column there, the macro column. Numro sounds fantastic though. Alpha sound fantastic. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do it tonight. I think tomorrow, if you guys are interested. Tomorrow, I wanna install this guy. So, as a little bonus thing, and I wanna put this thing here in, cause dude, if this sounds this good, I've been, I go back and forth with how much I like Plateless. But I wouldn't mind trying the Plateless rendition of this. Yeah, you can build O-ring plateless with this because the O-rings don't sit tra like traditional. This is why I said it's kind of like a play on O-ring, which is really cool. So it's there. It's a bunch of numbers take on how O-ring works. It uses these metal standoffs and then the O-ring would go around this to illustrate with the yellow. So that's how the O-ring would sit. Really interesting take on this. And again, it's kind of like a pseudo gasket, pseudo O-ring anyways. Uh, I didn't realize the polycarb is clear. Yeah, yeah, here, let's take a look. It's a clear polycarbonate on the side. So you can sort, I mean, I can really see it in person, but you can see it like right there. See how that, it kind of just refracts the light differently through that piece there? So it's a really interesting play on three different colors and just styles here. So you got this top piece, which is that muted kind of green. The second piece, which is this almost gray, then the polycarbonate, and then back to the green. Then you have the weight peeking out. So it's just this really cool layer of material and color, which, man, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Sounds great, feels good too. I don't know who's vendoring this. I don't know if a bunch of numbers has got to the stage of vendors yet. Beautiful basic stack mount. But again, play on how well the, the stack of stuff is. Very cool, absolutely stunning board. And for the few people that were wondering, this does not have RGB. I don't think this needs RGB. <laughs> I really don't, man. Oh man, I, I, I love getting these projects in because you can tell a lot of, a lot of like love went into this. You can tell, a lot of love. I thought you were going insane because I didn't realize the stack, um, I didn't seem that crazy. No, 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 dude, like, when you really look at it, when you really look at the different colors here, we'll look from like right here, like this angle, when you really look, there's a lot going on. It's cool, right? There's a lot going on for that stack of uh, stuff there. It's subtle and you can even kind of tell, like if I were to bring this to the edge of the gray, like this, let's just bring it like this. You can kind of tell what's going on, even from the side, and it looks great. Ooh, this sounds even better off the desk pad. One of those rare boards that I feel like. Hmm. I like this, this is nice. Uh, thoughts on the Omni-type keycaps and how they compare to modes? Uh, I would, I mean, they're totally different. One's PBT, one's ABS. Uh, totally, totally different. I can't, I honestly couldn't even begin to like better compare them other than one is also double shot, one I believe is die sub. So very hard to compare. Uh, if I had to pick one, like as of right now, I'm more into the mode ones. Just cause I like ABS though. Some people love PBT. 
Um, for Mac users, neither, man. Honestly, I would recommend just going standard win, like win key. You're gonna need, like I find myself with even like this, this is difficult for me to use on Mac. So I tend to not go for this. I just go for standard, no win key or win, no win keyless. Uh, sounds even better, that's crazy. I really like this. Awesome looking keyboard. So tomorrow, I think I'm doing the, oh gosh, what the, what, I think, am I doing the Pluto tomorrow? Let me double check. Let me see, let me see. I'm doing the Pluto tomorrow, but after I'm on the Pluto, if you guys wanna see this with the plateless, let's do this tomorrow. I wanna, I'm genuinely curious because I'm I'm so interested in this keyboard right now. This, the duality and the derivative, low key sold me just based off of, like not low key, but high key sold me just based off of like the first sound testing feel. Those are the three boards other than the Envoy and I think the class uh, that, like I, I got the derivative. The duality I'm planning on getting. Uh, and then honestly, this might be one of the boards I plan on getting to. This is really nice. And you know what? You know what's funny about this? Outside of sound profile and feel, because they would say this is semi soft. It's not super soft. It's not like class 60 soft. It's a little bit firmer. The, the aesthetic has sold me on this. This is definitely like, like I told you, this is something that is very up my alley. Uh, excited for the Pluto build, build I pre ordered it. Hell yeah, dude. The Pluto's gonna be interesting. Um, also, just so, so we understand, I do think the magnetic screws, 100%, definitely need those, would help with the build experience. And then, I think that was really the only major thing. Everything else was pretty simple. I think um, no numbers said that, or a bunch of numbers rather, said that he was gonna be putting it into the case, like the, the O-ring thing was to be easier. Wait till plate list in 30, okay. I'll see how soft that gets a bunch of numbers. We'll, we'll have fun with that tomorrow. Dude, genuinely, this sounds nice. Clack, I really like them, man. They're, they're good switches. A bunch of numbers. Uh, let us know who ends up becoming the vendor for this or I don't know if you said that already. I'm genuinely curious. You can DM me and then we can tell everyone on Discord and stuff, but we'll do like a mini part two to this tomorrow because we're way over two hours today. Oh, she made me too hyped for this keep. No, I really like this, man. This is really nice. Like I said, the only real, real problem I think was I, I didn't quite like the installation. But then again, you guys know me. I don't like the whole hidden screw design. I'd rather just screw stuff off from the bottom. Um, those need to be magnetic. That needs to be a little bit better there, but everything else is great. This is fantastic. We raised 12K for water wells with those switches. That's huge. Let's go, dude. Uh, I am planning on running it. My, okay, so it's gonna be small run with a bunch of numbers. Let us know, like website, all that kind of stuff. Very interested in this board, man. All right, though, guys, that's pretty much it. That's a stream today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Something I think, I think we had really good discussion today, huh? Today was a really good stream, despite me being a little bit out of it. Really good stream today, guys. Really, really good stream. All right, let's go see if we can raid though, because I am definitely feeling a little bit tired now though. Let's go see, is Asli streaming? Oh, allow me TKL. Okay, we're definitely raiding it's Asli. Love today's stream? I loved it today. Today was great. Good little, good little uh, powwow with even chatting and stuff like that too. Thanks for the great stream. Oh no, dude, thank you for building such a cool keyboard. Tomorrow will be part two and then I'll probably have this up on YouTube like next week. If you guys wanna see the hyperlapse, if you guys don't care to watch the whole stream, which I mean, if you guys are this far into the stream, then you probably have already seen the stream. So uh, thanks for the comfy vibe. Bro, thanks for all hanging out with me today. Tomorrow's Pluto, then we're streaming something else after that. And then I'm Thursday, I'm probably streaming something else too. So we have a, a jam packed week. Then I'll be off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday. I'll be off for a few days. I'll be taking a little break, which I think is well-deserved, I think, at this, this point. But then we're back at it, bro. It'll be like I never left, trust. Uh, all right, guys, enjoy It's Asley's stream. Thanks for coming in today. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, who puts jam in their week? True. I really like jam. 
Take care, everybody. Love you guys. See you guys later.